a lot of people ask me what the best sort of cheese is for fishing for Murray Cod. I always say mozzarella because it's rubbery, which means it clings onto the hook better. It doesn't fall off when you cast it and it lasts longer on the hook. Here we go, fishing with cheese for Murray Cod. I've got two little squares, about a centimetre square of mozzarella. I should have a bigger hook and three or four squares, but I didn't bring any bigger hooks. Don't know what I was thinking, but that'll do. I've got two sinkers on here because the river is still very high and the current is very strong. I'm not going to cast it out all that far. There's no need to cast all the way to the other side of the river. That's actually a mistake that I see a lot of newcomers to the sport of fishing make. I'm going to sit that there. I like to sit one runner behind that stick so that if a fish pulls it, it's got to pull the whole stick, the whole lot, and it makes it harder for the fish to pull the rod in the water. Right, that is baited and ready to go. Well, there goes the cheese rod. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trying to rig up the second rod and the cheese rod's just about pulling the drink. I've missed the fish. Wow. That was a nice bite and there's still one bit of cheese on there. I'll put that back in. I'll put that back in. I missed the fish. It was a nice little bite, that. Trying to get the second rod rigged up. And the, uh, the first rod started buckling under pressure. <laughs> Look at this. As I've dropped everything and run to that rod, I'll just drop this reel here in the sand. That's why, that's why I never use really good quality rods and reels for this sort of fishing, just general angling. They get dropped in the sand and dropped in the mud. They get very, very mistreated. The reel that I've got on this rod now is worth about 30 bucks. 40 bucks. It's a cheap, dive, a cheap cheap Shimano reel, but it does the job and it doesn't make thousands of casts. I just make a few casts here and there, cast me bait out and then leave it sitting against the stick. So I don't, I don't need a $200 top of the range reel to sit here on a sandbar and drown bait. When I'm floating down these, oh, 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 shit, he's nearly been pulled in the drink. He's on there this time. <laughs> wow. Whoa. This is a, a reasonable fish on the cheese. Look at that. A lovely Murray cod on the cheese. Look at that, eh? He is a very nice Murray cod caught on the mozzarella cheese. Not a monster fish, but a nice fish of around 40 centimetres long. Caught on the cheese in this very high water. I'll give him a wash. Nice Murray cod of around 40 centimetres long. Caught on a bunch of cheese, and he has just done the Harold Holt. Disappeared into the deep water. Maybe to be seen again. But we're still waiting for Harold Holt, aren't we? Here we go. I've missed the uh, I've missed the hookup, and I've got a small fish here on the worms. What have I got? A lovely little Murray cod. Have a look at that, eh? Lovely little Murray cod, caught on a bunch of worms, which I'll pull out of the fish's mouth now. Look at that. Three days after rain Magedon, three days after our court opening deluge, and I'm fishing back in the game. It'll be a while before I do much lure fishing, but I'm fishing. I'm excited and I'm tangled. <laughs> Rightio, folks. I reckon I'm going to give it about five more minutes and then I'm going to pull up stumps. I've had a fun little session. I caught two cod within the first 15 minutes of getting here. Then I've had quite a few bites and lost a small fish, and then it's gone really quiet just on dark. In saying that, I didn't get on the water until 7.30pm, so I've only been here about an hour. 
so I can't complain. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all very, very much for helping me reach the milestone just recently of 10,000 subscribers on, on YouTube. To those of you that comment and like and follow me on a regular basis, I thank you very much because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to achieve what I've achieved. You guys are my rock. You are just absolutely everything to me. And if I didn't have such an amazing, loyal subscriber base, well, I wouldn't even bother making videos. I'd still go out on these adventures, but I wouldn't share them with anyone. But because I know that you people enjoy watching what I do, you keep me motivated to help me sharing it. So I thank you all very, very much. And I'd also just like to let you know that there is a new app on the market these days. You can get it from the Play Store or the App Store. It's called Fisho. It's an Australian fishing app. And I have kindly been asked to be a reporter for that app. A pro reporter, they call it. Just in other words, a fishing reporter for this northeast Victoria region. So I am a member of Fisho. So if you feel if you like apps and you like to stay connected with other fishermen, jump onto the Play Store or the App Store and download Fisho. Look up Robbie Alexander and we'll link up on there. Fantastic.